Some of the deepest mines in the world extend miles below the surface of the Earth. Deep, dark pits that stretch on into forever. The world is littered with them, and we've used them to mine everything from salt to gold to obscure metals like tantalum and gallium. But every so often, you'll find a mine in the world that is less about the ore hidden inside it than about some other bizarre inhabitants. Number 10. A Preserved Body a body in a mine is tragically not that uncommon. Disasters in mines occur more frequently than anyone would like. Over the last century, numbers have dropped significantly, but when you total them all up, the final figure is in the millions. And that's just coal mines. What was unusual was what miners discovered at the Falung Copper Mine in Sweden back in 1719. Miners had pulled a body from a flooded section of mine, missing his legs but otherwise in good condition. His clothing and the rest of his body looked well preserved and suggested that he may have died only a few days prior. This was unusual because that section of the mine had not been used in years. When the body was put on display publicly in the hopes of someone identifying the man, a woman came forward. Her name was Margaret Oll's daughter, and she said the man was her fiancé. He had gone missing 42 years earlier. As the body began to dry out, it also began to petrify. It became hard like wood. This was because he had been preserved in water full of vitriol, also known as copper sulfate. As it started to evaporate, the body began to decay. Weirdly enough, they kept the man on display for 30 more years. He was later buried in a church. During renovations, he was discovered again, and they permanently buried him in a cemetery. Number 9. A Data Archive once mining operations are done, a mine is a big empty space with not a lot of purposes. Some places store toxic materials in them, but others are storing more useful things. As it happens, a mine is a perfect environment for preserving just about anything. Temperature and humidity are ideal for storing something like a data archive. Gartab has archived over 21 terabytes of data from their servers, open source software they want to preserve for future generations, and they have taken all this data to a mine in the Arctic. In July 2020, they stored everything in the Archive Code Vault in Norway. Now the data lives in a retrofitted storage container in a decommissioned coal mine. If all goes according to plan, the coded material should stay safe and sound for at least a thousand years. Number 8. A Wild Toxic Dog Lots of communities and neighborhoods end up with unofficial pets, a stray animal that hangs out and everyone in the community comes to know. That was the case with the dog called The Auditor. He lived in Berkeley Park, an open pit copper mine in Montana. The shaggy dog came and went as he pleased. He would disappear for weeks on end, then return and get fed by whoever was willing to toss him snacks. Although miners and employees would feed him, he was skittish and avoided direct contact. The auditor, so named because he showed up unexpectedly, was first seen in 1986. He passed away in 2003, making him at least 17 years old, which is pretty good for a dog, let alone a stray. More remarkable was that an environment engineer performed some tests on the dog's hair after it passed away. The auditor had been living in the mine for so long that he'd managed to soak up a baffling level of chemical compounds. His hair contained arsenic at 128 times the level of a typical dog. Number 7. The Titanoboa the largest snake in the world is the green anaconda. Although a reticulated python may be longer, the anaconda is far heavier. It can weigh over a quarter of a ton and reach 30 feet in length. The idea of an anaconda devouring a human is not far-fetched, though reports of this ever happening are extremely rare. For many people, it is the ultimate nightmare animal. But it could be worse. In a coal mine in Colombia, the fossil of a snake was discovered that blows any anaconda on Earth today out of the water. The snake, dubbed the Titanoboa, reached a length of 40 feet. And while that length is dramatic, it's not too hard to believe compared to some current pythons and anacondas. But it's the mass of the snake that makes it remarkable. Titanoboa would have weighed over 2,000 pounds, one full ton of snake. That's about the weight of a black rhino or a moose. At its thickest part, the back of the Titanoboa would have been the same height as a full-grown man's waist. At this size, there was likely no prey too large for it back when it slithered through swamps around 58 million years ago. Number 6. Federal Retirement Files When it comes time to retire, most people probably expect a nice, smooth transition. If you work for a big company, the HR department probably has paperwork to file. Things to process for retirement benefits and other relevant info to categorize you as someone not working there any longer. The federal government more or less does this as well, except they don't have any of this on a computer. It's all in a mine. Iron Mountain in Boyers, Pennsylvania is an old limestone mine about 630 feet underground. About 600 people work here at the Office of Personnel Management Facility, where every single paper record for every retiring federal employee is stored. 
Truckloads of paperwork are delivered every single day to the mine. About 7,000 federal employees retire every single month. The government employs about 3 million people, so the number isn't that drastic. And despite the 600 employees at this facility, they run a massive backlog with thousands of retirements to process. It's just too much work for them. The reason the whole facility is in a mine is because they have so much paperwork to store. Yes, it would be more efficient to do this electronically, but so far, that has not been done. In fact, all the work they do on computer gets printed out and filed away too. Congress has pointed out how inefficient this process is as far back as 1981, but fixing inefficiency seems about as inefficient as everything else. Number 5. Two Billion Year Old Water Water in a cave doesn't qualify as unusual. Caves are often damp places, and underground lakes and rivers have existed for eons. But not all water is created equal, nor is it created at the same time. In one mine in Canada, the water they discovered there predates multicellular life on Earth. The water was discovered deep in a mine in Timmins, Ontario. The age was determined by analyzing traces of elements like helium and xenon discovered in the water. For scientists, it was a bonanza, as it was the oldest water ever discovered, and it shed some light on what ancient Earth might have been like. Technically speaking, the water isn't toxic. It has trace elements in it, but drinking it would be a bad idea. It's also eight times saltier than seawater. Number 4. A Bike Trail If you enjoy riding for fun or exercise, then you probably know more than a few local bike trails. Depending on where you live, these can take you through some really beautiful parts of town and the surrounding countryside. If you head to the lead and zinc mines in Medzka, a town in Slovenia, you'll find arguably the most unique bike trail in the world. The Black Hole Trail is about 10 kilometers long and descends into the earth 150 meters over five different levels. The mine itself was abandoned over 25 years ago until someone got the bright idea to bring it to life again as a trail. It's a challenging enduro trail for serious riders, and you can't navigate it without a guide. Like any mine, there are a lot of twists and turns that could be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Number 3. A Stash of 1930s Cars In 2016, a Belgian teacher was roaming through a mine in a French quarry, as one does. When he was down there, he stumbled upon tunnels and tunnels of old European cars dating back to the 1930s. These cars were showing their age, but they had all clearly been parked there on purpose at some point nearly a hundred years ago. It's believed the cars date back to World War II. The Germans took cars as they needed or wanted them. Because of that, it's possible the mine was used as a secret stash, a place to hide the cars until the war was over. Unfortunately, it looks like whoever put them there never came back to retrieve them after the war. The end result is a mine full of rusted out hunks that have little monetary value, but are certainly historically significant. Number 2. A Theme Park Selena Turner may not sound enticing to English-speaking thrill-seekers, but it's definitely worth a look if you want some unique fun. Located in Romania, the Selena Turner mine was a salt mine that dates back an incredibly long time. The first mention of it in books was from the year 1075. It continued producing salt for hundreds of years until 1932. During the Second World War, the mine saw use as a bomb shelter before being shut down yet again. In the 1990s, after some extensive and expensive renovations, the mine was reopened to the public. Not just a halo therapy spa, which means salt therapy, it's also a subterranean amusement park. The facility features mini golf, bowling, a ferris wheel, an underground lake, and billiards, among other things. It's located 120 meters down, and you can choose to take the elevator or try the stairs. Number 1. World's Largest Freshwater Dive Resort the Bonterra lead mine was carved into the rock under the town of Bonterra, Missouri, over the course of a hundred years. When the mine finally shut down in 1962, the company in charge shut the power off, and that included shutting down water pumps. Soon enough, water began to fill in the mine, but it wasn't just a little bit of water by any means. The current owners bought the abandoned mine in the 1970s, and by that time, the three lowest levels of the mine were totally underwater. That was roughly 88 miles of tunnels. The surface has 17 miles of navigable shoreline, making it the world's largest underground freshwater lake. Over 500,000 watts of lighting have been installed to make the mine the world's biggest underground dive resort. The water stays at a constant temperature all year round, and visibility is excellent. Excellent. The depths feature all of the mining equipment that was abandoned to time. They call it the Billion Gallon Lake, and that many miles of tunnels all underwater and with some locations going down 40 to 60 feet, it does seem like an appropriate name. There are dozens of passageways to explore, and many are only accessible to experienced divers due to the complex winding of the tunnels. So I really hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.